Wings power play gets its first opportunity of the game. Dawson from around the faceoff circle. Now back to Dawson. He shoots. Score! Philadelphia Wings. Dan Dawson has not had a lot of goals this season, but finds one there. Puts it right between the five hole of Aaron Bolden. The Wings strike first at one to nothing. Quickly capitalizing on the power play. The goal comes at 128. Take a look at the Verizon Wireless replay as we go to the board here. Just good, good passing and Dawson, you can't give him much space. He uncorked one right here. Wings up one to nothing here. Quickly on a power play goal by Dan Dawson at 128. Now Crowley with a nice move. Holds, holds, score! I don't know how Kevin Crowley found the room above the shoulder of Aaron Bowl. I thought he had held it too long to take himself out of position, but as he comes over, he's able to slip the shot over the left shoulder of Bold somehow and tuck it in for a two nothing lead. Take a look at this goal that comes at 3.05 in the first. You're gonna see Crowley make a nice swim move here past Jeff Cornwall, and he comes free, and it looks like he holds it too long. Oh, Bowl drops the left shoulder for a half second, and that is all the room Kevin Crowley needed, and two to nothing is now your score. Rush on the power play here. Two for two, make it three for three. Shoots and scores, Edmonton rush. The word is out as the bounce shot goes low on Brandon Miller and it's Scott Evans who puts the rush back up by two, six to four. Take a look at the replay here. Nice behind the back pass. And Evans is able to bounce it in. Mundorf at the far side corner, up top to Hamada. Crowley now makes a move, and Dawson. Now here's a shot and score! Philadelphia Wings, Mike Hominick with the diving shot through the crease. And the Wings strike first here in the second half, making it a one-goal game at 9-8. Now under 90 seconds to go here in the third. Johnson makes a run on the far side. Here's a shot. Score! Edmonton rush. They tie it up thanks to a Tom Johnson shot. Now back over to Mundorf, 10 on the shot clock, 11 minutes to go here in the fourth. Mundorf working, behind the back, score! Brendan Mundorf ties it up at 14. Knotted up with his defender. And as you look to the rafters, Tom Marichek's number just shines a little bit brighter because that has a Hollywood-esque goal. Take a look at the replay here. Brendan Mundorf took a run on the near side Good pressure put on by Edmonton. You really can't do much more than that. They got the stick up a little high, and as Mundorf falls down, goes over the shoulder, stuffs it in, and that's the 14th goal of the night. That ties it up. Edmonton looking to kill off as much of this penalty as they can. Aaron Wilson went off for the slash. He's still in the box for another minute 10. Four on the shot clock, shoots and scores! Aaron Ward pulls the trigger from about 25 feet. No way Miller was expecting that one, and the rush take the lead 15 to 14 on a shorty by Ryan Ward. Five on three for the Wings. Down by one at three minutes ago. Strap in, and here we go. The Wings back to live action. Mundor up top. Creeping in, creeping in. He'll put it in. Score! Brendan Mundorf ties it up on the power play, 15 to 15. Dan Dawson out there with Mundorf. They're playing pass back and forth. Now Dawson has it, makes the pass. Up top to Mundorf, spin move, shoot, score! Brendan Mundorf, two straight goals, two power play goals, and the Wings are now up 16 to 15. Westerbilt now with 11. 10. The Wings are going to move to 6 and 4 as Seabold holds the ball with 5. Edmonton cannot get the ball. Westervelt holds it 2 1. And the Philadelphia Wings have won an exciting matchup 16 to 15 against the Edmonton Rush.